All right, guys, it is Pun Factor here, bringing you more Green White Value Town. It's been a hot minute since I've been able to sit down and play and record, so I'm super excited to bring you tons of games tonight. So, made some changes with Modern Horizons that just came out. Um, I was only able to snipe a couple cards. I'm still trying to get my hand on a few of the creatures uh, before I take a kind of a deep dive into testing some of the new stuff that we that we got, but. Let me go over, I kind of went back to my main board. Um, I have an event coming up soon and I don't think I'm gonna get enough testing with Vivian. So I think, I mean, I love the card, but I think I'm just gonna stick with my main board with the two Knight of Autumns. Um, just super happy with how this main deck felt, but I am testing one Blast Zone um, I took one Blast Zone in place of a Wooded Foothills. I don't know if that's correct. It might end up being I add in the Wooded Foothills and I take out one of the planes. Um, we'll kind of see, and we'll just see if this card's worth it or not. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Now, onto the sideboard. The sideboard changed quite a bit. So, you'll notice that I do not have Stony Silences in the sideboard, which is really crazy. Um, I don't know if that's the way of the world. Um... But let me go over it with you real quick. I still have my two Damping Spheres because I think it is just too important against um, Tron, which is huge, Amulet Titan, uh, Storm, things of that nature. I, I like my Damping Spheres. I think they're fantastic. Um, engineered Explosives. I might be able to go down one of these just depending on how great Blast Zone is. Um, I do like EE for tokens, but... We'll have to we'll have to test and see um, see how many times that comes up, and when that comes up, would I've been able to win the game without an engineer explosives? We'll have to find out. So I am predicting that control is going to get insane, even if it's not super amazing. People are still going to be running it for a while just because of some of the new tools that um, War of the Spark gave control, as well as uh, Modern Horizons. So I need to pack some anti-control. So I still have my two chokes, um, but I am going to toss in Mr. Thrun here. Um, he's he's a control, control player's nightmare um, with the regeneration, and he can't be countered, he can't be targeted. I like him. Um, if I find myself needing more, I'm going to just bring in a Carnage Tyrant and call it a day. Um, and we are trying... Uh, Eladomri? Elad sure. Eladomri's Call. Um, this is kind of taking the place of Eldritch Evolution that I opted out of before. The main thing I didn't like about Eldritch Evolution is you needed a creature on the board. So I also like Eladomri's Call against Control because it's instant speed. So I can pop it off at the end of their turn. If they counter it, it's just going to be that much better for me to possibly land a threat um, on my following turn. So we're going to give that a go. I did have three in here, um, but I just kind of tweaked around some numbers and I landed on two. Um, and then I also have my two warships. Uh, I still just think they're necessary against some games. So onto my bullet package, Kataki Wars Wage, which because I dropped the Stony Silences, and man, Moto is lagging. Because I dropped the Stony Silences, um, I'm bringing this back. And what I'll probably do, I'll probably bring in the Collector Oof as well um, and just kind of have him in here as another creature that I can tutor up um, for those uh, artifact artifact matchups um, but we also have to keep in mind that we're running main board Night of Autumn which does a fantastic job um, so I think we're probably okay on that front um, mm -hmm. Linvala, Linvala Keeper of Silence um, mm -hmm. honestly elves you know that and uh, the devoted combo it just shuts a lot of decks off I, I just like this card. Eidolon of Rhetoric for our combo matchups, and Avon Mind Sensor is way too powerful against Amulet Titan. So that is pretty much what we're doing here. Uh, the rest of the board kind of stayed the same. Um, still my three voices, four Path to Exiles, one Dramokas Command for my interaction. Um, I am rocking the full eight Mana Dorks, a couple Scavenging Oozes, two Excavators, three Tireless Trackers, uh, four Cru uh, Corsair of Crufix, four Knight of the Reliquary, and of course my two Knight of Autumns, which I talked about, and four Collected Company. So, why don't we go in here and I'm not going to run a league yet, but probably pretty soon. 
And how do you like this this new Moto setup? It's pretty sweet, huh? I kind of dig it. So let's go ahead and just join a game. Actually, no, wait, 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 wait. Let's leave this event. Leave match. Let's do... I want to do a queue. Let's see what deck. Is this the one? This is the one. So we are going to join. Sorry guys, my nose is stuffy. I have horrible allergies and it is that time of the year. So hey, I appreciate uh, the few people that have been commenting on the games um, and who are watching some of my games. It's really appreciated. And uh, the comments, you know, when you guys point out mistakes, it's fantastic because I am aiming to get better. So we are on the play here. This hand is unkeepable. So it's worth noting that this blast zone would have been a fetch land. And I would have been able to have uh, play with this hand. So that is worth noting. But with that being said, this hand is just a thousand times better. So we have our bird into night, into courser. Yeah, this hand's fantastic. Now, obviously, if we're playing against burn or something, we're going to keep this knight in our hand uh, because it's only a 2-2 as is because we don't have fetch lands. And that's another reason I didn't necessarily want to go down a fetch land. Um, kind of decreasing the chance that we're going to have a 4-4 four, four knight on two. <sighs> Scavenging news. This is one of these decisions. I think I would rather... I'm going to bottom this. Scavenging news is kind of just a corner case creature. He's good in a lot of matchups, but where he's not good, he's really not good. So let's hope we didn't make a mistake. We may have made a mistake. Nope. Okay. So this courser is going to be very good in this matchup. And so is the Knight of Autumn to gain some life. And what I might end up doing after this game, guys, I'm going to restart Moto because it's just chugging along here, driving me insane. So what are we playing against? Is it just burn? Okay. Yeah. So we have a decision to make. We can't actually play anything in our hand. Huh. That's awkward. That is awkward. Let's just hold off here. You know, the key, the key to this whole thing is to stay alive. And I don't think getting in we could we could be facing some crazy hasty shenanigans. I'd rather leave back to block. Yeah, that's problematic. Well, we might just lose here. because we're drawing a collected company. 
man, we just got supremely unlucky. So, man, does that stink. Two, three, six, eight. All right. Two cards in hand. We're at six. What do we get? A skews. Not really what we're looking for. Let's see what we can do here. Wow, look at Meadow just like chugging along. Uh-oh. Oh no. Did Meadow just... What is going on with Meadow? All right. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, we're, we're just, well, yeah, I think we're just dead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, we're just dead. All right. Game two. We got very unlucky. So let's bring in Warship. Um... We can probably drop a Ramanap. Yeah, we can just drop a couple Ramanaps. Um, is Engineered Explosives, make sure I'm actually recording. Man, my Is engineered explosives worth it? Problem is, what would we take out? No, I don't think it, I don't think engineered explosives is worth it. Let's go ahead and submit. Just toss in a couple warships. Man, that was rough just having green mana. All right. So this is good. We have a Courser. We have our white mana. This is definitely good. We have our bird. So if he bolts the bird and we don't have a turn to play, we'll just play the Temple Garden tapped. Okay. Solid. There's a knight. It's a good draw. Man, not hitting these fetch lands though is really rough. We definitely don't want to lose the courser here. So if he swings in, we'll let the we'll let this two go through. Yeah, that's fine. if he has a gobo grenade
There's a skews. So we have a couple options. I honestly think we collected company here. All right, so let's wait. We can Coco on his turn. We'll go ahead and swing in here for two. He might try to get our bird here. Yeah, he's gonna make his company. What do we hit? A knight, scavenging news, noble. Let's go there. So this is a situation where Blast Zone might come in handy. So right now, let's think about this block. Let's go ahead and he's tapped out. We could block here. I don't want to get rid of this knight, so let's just go ahead and block there and trade. Okay, yeah, you can't activate that, so I think we're doing okay here. So there's a couple things we could do. We could keep the Grim Lava Mancer off. We could play a Skews. Yeah, why don't we do that? Go ahead, gain a life here. Okay. I almost wonder if EE is better than worship. So we're on the play. It might be a little bit better on the play. Eh, it's fine. Let's just run it back. I don't know the answer. So this hand's not bad. We have voice. Voice to two for one and chump for days. OK, 
Okay, I don't mind seeing that first. Ghost corner. So at least our knight can get huge. I'm definitely not going to play the knight out initially. We're going to... Turn two, we're going to play out our voice. Which will buy us... A turn for Ghost Quarter. This is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie to you. Jeez, really? So he's going to get in for five. Okay. All right, so he has one card in hand. Okay. One card in hand, we're at 15. So he's looking at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, swinging in for 11. If we go Yeah, we're gonna go ahead, get a get a planes, and let's play out our voice, and let's keep Noble back to block in case he plays something crazy. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Alright, so we're definitely blocking one. Do we want to block... I don't think we want to get onto five because of Goblin Grenade. So... I don't think there's a way out of this. So we'll take six. He'll come back with three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, this is not good. We can't take nine. I mean, maybe we shouldn't have, but I mean, if he has a goblin grenade, maybe we shouldn't have blocked there. Let's see what we get. Okay. We would have a 4 4 knight. Grab a planes. Uh, my bad, a five five night. So two, three, four. 
Alright. Let's see what we got. That'll do it. Dismember. All right, no cards in hand. That's it. Ugh. That's unfortunate. But it happens, guys. Uh, ugh. Yeah, that first game was, was horrible. We didn't see any sort of white source, which was bad. Um, game two was easy. Game three, that was that was tough. That was a very explosive turn with him having three Burning Tree Emissaries, and that's just how it goes. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the game, and uh, stay tuned for a ton more. I'll probably end up running a league here tonight. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is Punt Factor, bringing you all the green-white value town.